okay students welcome back so this video is for all you learners young learners they need only english so i will talk only in english <laughs> yeah why i'm taking pauses you just thinking na because i probably think that i should talk hindi or english that's why so focus on this the four elements of speaking skills you really need to know means if you want to talk like a native speaker you need four elements the first one vocabulary so you have to know the more and more words and their meaning and their pronunciation so i will give you daily 10 or 5 words so you should know the meaning and learn the pronunciation also so did you know that to be considered fluent in a language you need to have a vocabulary of around 10000 words so i'll give you 10 or 5 so maybe you just go up with the 100 and 100 words later on so it will be great second grammar an understanding of tenses and the correct way to structure sentences so all you have to need what is present tense past tense and future so that you can convey your message to the listener and also the structure of sentences means we have to use is first followed by verbs first form plus ing in the present continuous tense and also if we are uh, saying something in present so we have to use the subject first then first form then object so this is the structure and third one is fluency to read passages out loud so always to become a fluent speaker you need to speak loudly and in confidence every time because fluency gives you confidence and helps you to speak better be clear about what you mean means if you are taking more and more pauses while speaking a, a single sentences or two or three sentences it means you are not clear what are you saying or what you are about to say so be clear learn how to use the present and past tenses correctly so as i said previously you have to learn to make the structure correctly and consistently means repeatedly let's get started so simple present tense warm up i'll give you later on in the next video and present and past tense verb cards verb cards means you need to know that in first form we say like no in second sentence it will become second tense means past tense new in third non no new non go went gone but for the word cut we have to use the same cut 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 put 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 so you need to know the verb also and third the difference between simple present tense and the simple past tense it is very important so stay tuned and watch out my next videos and the fourth point is idioms yeah idioms means you need to practice some idioms really sound good while you speaking okay so stay tuned bye bye have a nice day